Hey, my little munchkins, it's Jeffrey, and we are standing out in the rain in the middle of the woods. Well, I've been thinking of these things for years, and uh, losing sleep at night. Well, not really. I, t I tell a lie. I don't lose sleep over these things, but it's always amused me every time that I stumble across this list. So I thought to brighten your day and to brighten up my day, I would share a few of these with you. So, do you ever wonder in the English language why is phonetic not actually spelled the way that it sounds? And what about buying cigarettes at gas stations? You can buy them, but it's prohibited to smoke them there. And when you go to a liquor store, you need to show your driver's license, and yet it is illegal to drink and drive. And at bars, why do they have parking lots? And have you ever wondered, if you were to make a cow, if you were to make a cow laugh really hard, do you suppose that milk would come out her nose? And speaking of dairy, why do they even bother putting an expiration date on sour cream? Why are buildings called buildings if they've already been built? Who cuts the barber's hair? Who's the doctor's doctor? And isn't it disconcerting a little bit that doctors call what they do a practice? And the 7-Eleven store, it's open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and yet for some reason they have locks on the door. Why? Do kamikaze pilots wear helmets? And how is it even possible to tune a bagpipe? And does fu fuzzy logic tickle? Um, how come wrong numbers are never ever busy? And do radioactive cats have 18 lives? No. And do blind Eskimos have seeing eye sled dogs? And does virgin wool come from sheep that hasn't even been caught yet? And if the front of your car says Dodge, do you actually even have to have a horn? Is it true that cannibals don't eat clowns? Okay, so is it true? There's this clown craze going around right now um, that this is really appropriate to. Is it true that cannibals don't eat clowns because they taste funny? And if someone with a multiple personality disorder is um, threatening to kill themselves, would it be considered a hostage situation? Do boxers shorts box? What do they pack styrofoam in? Why did God give men nipple? And why do people point at their wrist when they want to know what time it is? Do I point at my crotch when I want to know where the bathroom is? No, I don't think so. Anyways, I want to thank you for coming out to this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, leave some comments if there's any questions that you've been pondering um, forever that make you lose sleep at night. And uh, I do want you to remember this one thing though. You, yes, I'm talking right to you right there. You are absolutely amazing. There is only one of you on this planet right now. And so that makes you very unique and very special, and I absolutely love that about you. So tune in next time. Who knows what shenanigans I'll be up to. Bye!